Podcast Virginia Good Governor morning, Glenn Governor. Youngkin That's sitting down with CBS's Robert Costa Sunday morning. His 13-minute interview on Face the Nation touching on several topics. The first, abortion, and the Republican governor's call for a 15-week ban following Roe v. Wade's overturning, a move many state Democrats say they would block, and some Republicans argue doesn't go far enough. I believe life begins at conception. In Virginia, we've got to work with a Senate and a House. This is what we've been doing. But will you ever pursue a full ban? Well, I believe that what my job is, is to get something done. And I believe we can get a 15-week pain threshold bill done in Virginia. I do believe that there should be exceptions that are made in the case of rape and incest and when the life of the mother is truly at risk. Then a discussion about Supreme Court justice safety following that abortion decision. Our judges in uh, Virginia are adequately protected. I wish we could do more. The governor was also pressed on same-sex marriage and concerns of whether he would protect it in Virginia should the federal right be taken away. It's been protect so focused on. Or not. In Virginia, we, ha we actually do protect same-sex marriage in Virginia. That's the law in Virginia, and therefore, as governor of Virginia, we protect same-sex marriage. Switching gears to education, Governor Youngkin discussed his view of what he calls inherently divisive concepts in schools. One of the things we have to do is teach all of our history, the good and the bad. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't play we shouldn't play privilege bingo with children. We shouldn't teach children that they should judge one another and one group's privilege. And finally, elections. His support for Republican candidates in the Commonwealth and across the country, but pivoting when asked about the former president's continual claims of election fraud in 2020. So pr former President Trump should stop talking about it. I think what I did last year was I focused on 2021. But is he now focused on 24 and, as some have suggested, a possible presidential run? My job is to be a great governor in Virginia. But are you open to considering, along with your family, the idea of a presidential run in 2024? That's not a decision that we have even begun to undertake. That said, he didn't rule out a run either, only saying that he and his family haven't discussed it. Now, if you want to see Governor Youngkin's full interview on Face the Nation, you can find the link in this story at WTKR.com. I'm Anthony Sabella, News 3.